guys, so today I'll be bringing you my July Hits in a God Knows. It's been a crazy, life-changing month, actually. So this month, Rick and I got the keys to our apartment. I've been talking about this process for months now, a lot of months actually. And so many times we didn't know if we would actually get it, and so many times we thought we had actually lost the apartment because of some things. But then finally last week we got the keys to our apartment. So this week has been super crazy with uh, buying toilet lights. <laughs> Snapchat knows what's up. So this past week has been super crazy. We've been working on the apartment. We've been uh, painting everything. We're now putting in the floor. So yeah, that is what has been happening to me this month. I'm dying to know if anything life-changing happened to you this month. Let me know in the comments down below. But without any further ado, I have a couple of for you this month so let's get right to it the first product I want to talk about is by Morphe brushes and this is the 35 O palette now if you follow me on snapchat you know that this came in this morning but I've been obsessing over all the Morphe palettes to be super honest with you at first when they came in I thought I was going to hate them because they reminded me so much of the good all day 120 palettes and once you start to play with real makeup then you know that the 120 palette was not on fleek. So at first when these came in, they reminded me of that 120 palette from eBay and I was like, oh, I don't know about this. Don't know about this. But then once I actually started trying out these shadows, I am in love. And I know some people are iffy with Morphe, but let me tell you, their palettes really are amazing. Originally, I was gonna talk about another palette, but once this came in this morning, I knew I had to show you. This is the 35O palette, and it's a palette filled with warm brown toned shadows. Eyeshadow-wise, this is the only thing I'm wearing on my eyes today, so this entire look was created with this. I mean, come on, this is my name written all over it. This palette is just me in a nutshell. It's warm tones, shimmery, shiny, glamorous colors, but still, the fun colors, the pops of orange and the pops of yellow and gold, and I love this so much. So yeah, I highly recommend you checking out the Morphe Brushes palettes. They are really good. I assure you of that. Please trust me in that. So yeah, that's number one. While we're talking about Morphe, I might as well mention my new favorite highlighting brush. This is the Morphe M501, and this has taken over my highlighting life because this just tapers that highlight on so on point it's just so good you just pick some of the highlighter up with this brush you dust it all over your cheekbones above your arch nose cupid's bow chin and you're like strobed to the gods yeah there's not much to say to it actually it's just the best highlighting brush in my life right now. A foundation I have been obsessing over this month is by Too Faced and it's called Born This Way. I feel like I was the only one loving that song. So the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced is actually really, really good. It has great coverage, which, you know, I love. And still, it looks like skin. I've been wearing this I think all throughout this month. And people have been complimenting me on my skin, on Instagram, on YouTube, on the streets, in the toilet light stores. I'm just really, really liking this foundation. It is opaque, it looks like skin. It comes in a bunch of colors. It has a satin finish, and if you apply it with a beauty blender or a sponge, it will become a little bit more glowy than when you apply with a brush. So yeah, I've been really liking this foundation. It lasts so long, I really like it try it out. What also has been helping my skin tremendously in looking good is this Olabo, Olabo, um, Ulabu is what I like to call it. This is the Ulabu Truffle Indulgence Cream and I wanted to mention this last month because I just started trying it out then and I fell in love with it already but I felt like in order for me to talk about a moisturizer, I wanna try it out to the max. So I tried it out for about two months now and I cannot live without this moisturizer. This literally, honestly, smells like truffle. And truffle, I never knew truffle was so goddamn good. And the best thing about this moisturizer is, is that it moisturizes so well. You will put this on at night and you will wake up with skin as soft as a baby's butt. It is so moisturizing and the smell is so heavenly. I cannot live 
without this moisturizer. It has pretty much knocked out two moisturizers out of my daily bag. It's taken over. This is taken over. I, I die. Next up, I wanna talk about four new Melt Cosmetics lipsticks. These are from the Nude Collection. I am literally obsessed with these. I'm wearing this one, Sexed. I'm wearing Sexed on my lips right now. I love this especially because it can be so hard for pale or fair girls and boys to find a perfect pale nude lipstick. I'm wearing it on my lips today. It looks so nude, so fleshy, so nudey. I absolutely love it. I really, really enjoyed this collection and I love that they cater to every skin tone out there. And this pale color right here, Sexed, is perfect for us pale people. Next up is this mascara by MAC. And at first when I got this, I was like, is it a lipstick? No, it's just a MAC mascara in a really tall lipstick tube. This is what the mascara looks like. It has a very, I'm just putting it on my head now. It has a very tiny spiked plastic um, bristle portion. And again, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know I got this in this morning, but I tried it today for my lower lashes and I can already assure you that this is gonna be my new favorite lower lashes mascara. It just grabs and coats the lower lashes so easily, so quickly without even doing anything. And it just makes your lower lashes look damn good. I think I didn't tell you what it's called. It's called the Upward Lash Mascara by MAC. It comes in, you can recognize it because it just looks like a very tall lipstick bullet and then it's just it's amazing for the lower lashes also I've been diving in into the nose contouring lately I stayed away from nose contouring because I felt like my nose looked fine and then the other day I was just playing around a bit and I tried to contour my nose in the most natural way possible and I found that the most natural way to do it with was with the Dermacolor creams so these are by Kryolan and these are from the Dermacolor palette and this color right here is D8 and this one right here is D9 and I mix the two together and it's a cream product so right before I set my face with powder I just go in with a brush on the sides of my nose and kind of tip it here at the, at the at the this and then I blend it in with a beauty blender and it just looks so natural and defined at the same time I really like what it's doing to my nose especially in pictures it just makes a world of a difference so D8 and D9 derma colors by Kryolan are the shiznit if you're a like me. Also quickly I want to mention that Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with new liquid lipstick shades and my favorite from the new launch is Dusty Rose. I featured this in my Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial plus also on Instagram I did a couple of posts with it and I just really it's just a very fun color. Last but not least this perfume right here I am living for this packaging. This is the Lancome Trésor La Nuit perfume. This is, I believe, the Midnight Edition and it's all I've been wearing on my body this month. I got this actually because my friend Sharon has been wearing it all the time and every time I would meet up with her, I'd be like, okay, the scent, I need the scent on my body. So after sniffing her for a week or two, I finally decided to get it for myself. So here it is. I love the packaging. I'm the worst at describing scents, but I would describe it as a ride at a mysterious theme park filled with flowers in the middle of the night. That's it. That's it. Nailed it. That's it. That's it. I nailed it. See, a trésor la nuit is absolutely perfect for me. And maybe for you too. Oh my God. So those were all my hits for the month of July. Now, normally I would go to my oh God no portion of the video, but the happy fucking camper that I am, I do not have an oh God no this month. Maybe it's because I didn't wear as many new products this month. So I couldn't really see if I hated something. I do actually apologize. I'm so sorry. I know people look forward to hearing about my oh God no every month but I don't have one. Hopefully next month I will have an Ogodno. No for now, because I know you guys want to hear it, roll the clip. Oh yeah! No. So that's all guys, that were my hits for the month of July. What were your hits last month? Please let me know in the comment section down below. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my blog, NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, 
Snapchat that all is sneaky tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I wanna thank you so much for all your love and support and thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye-bye.